Good morning, it is Tuesday, May 26th. I'm back in the shop, back, back from the Seattle area. Um, so I don't have this week super organized. I know I have two knives that I have to absolutely get, uh, take all the breaks off on. Um, I haven't located them yet. I try to film like first thing in the morning before any customers get in. So I'm not gonna dig through it right now, but basically what I'm gonna be doing, I have two knives that are post heat treat. I need to do all the grind lines on them, get handles on them, and basically get them finished by the end of this week and then make progress on all the other customs and more vaudeville that I need to get done for them. Um, won't, won't say I'm super behind, but I'm definitely at least a little behind. Um, so Yake was in the shop uh, last week a little bit with Daniel helping out uh, in my absence. So uh, that really made the week run a lot smoother for Daniel. Steven's been in and out last week as well. So good to see things kind of getting back to normal, or at least a, a re resemblance of a new normal. Uh, we'll see how that pro uh, continues to pro progress. We'll keep you updated on that. And I'm gonna start grinding on some knives. Have a great day. Good morning, it is Wednesday, May 27th. So I got the heat treat done yesterday. This is the third knife that I will be focusing on this week. This is a trim knife for a local uh, barbecue guy. Uh, he works with uh, Revelry Barbecue. Um, so this is the third knife in his set and he's got all of them stamped with Nomad. They have Nomad, Nomad stamped uh, on their barbecue pit. Uh, it, it's a theme of his so going with that again um, this will have a oak handle that has been dyed and stabilized black so it'll match the rest of his set um, super excited about this guy so this is a trim knife so this is used to trim the fat off of, of barbecue uh, my understanding is mostly brisket like before uh, they they smoke it um, so this will be the third knife I'm really focused on this week I got a little grinding done on the other two, but it was a busy day yesterday, so today I will be all in on, on grinding Th this section here, the, the main grind lines. So this area up here will stay dark, and then this bit will get shiny, and then I will get handles on these. Um, probably not today, um, but hopefully starting tomorrow I'll be doing handle work on these three. Uh, we'll see how the day goes and if I can make that happen. I'll see everyone tomorrow. Good morning, it is Thursday, May 28th, and I will be continuing grind line. So I got some good grinding done on the three I'm working on. There's one little spot here, which is basically just some uh, deep uh, forge scale from the heat treating process. There's this one little thing right there. Uh, get those out, and I'll be running through the grits on that one. And this one is already ready for 220, so it's a little bit ahead. Obviously, significantly smaller, so... Uh, it just went a lot faster, and then the boning knife is coming along as well. So I should have these three fully polished by the end of the day, uh, if the days keep going like they are. Uh, we do have a little surprise. We have a couple new Benchmade knives that just came in, so I'll do a little uh, unboxing of those here in a little while, and uh, I'll, I'll add that to this clip as well. Um, just something cool we usually don't do, and. I literally, we have so many different knives on back order from Benchmade, I have no idea what they are, so that'll be kind of exciting, and and I'll let you guys ride along for it. Um, so that's my plan for the day, and we'll see how much I get done. Okay, so I'm going to do a little open box surprise, see what we got from, from Benchmade. There's Daniel, see, he's still around, he's just not filming currently. Okay, so uh, like I said, we, we, we've got some stuff in back order. I have no idea what these are. Let's see. Ooh, the mini bug out. Ooh, two mini bug outs. But there's more. Uh, no, we have not gotten the CF yet. That might be what this is. Nope, more mini bug outs. So this is the white and black one. Okay, we'll do a little unboxing too, why not, right? So this will have white handle with a black blade. It is mini. <laughs> okay, we'll, 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 we'll do more of an in-depth product review on it, but, but, but there's your first look at the uh, white mini 
And here, this should be the orange. Yeah, definitely orange. So this is the same orange that they used in their hunt series. So in comparison, I carry a mini Griptilian that is actually even smaller than the mini grip by about half an inch. Huh. There you go. Little surprise unboxing from Benchmade. Have a great day. Friday, May 29th. I got a bit of grinding done yesterday, so cleaned this one up significantly. Still uh, fairly coarse. Uh, I actually decided to go down to an 80 grit just because there is a, a, a lot of scale on it and just wanted to be a little faster and take that off. 
Uh, this one is up to 220 now. Uh, a couple spots came through that I still need to deal with, um, but nothing too major. This guy is really small now. The other little imperfection that I found in there, the uh, the, the forging uh, or the, the heat treat scale that, that went in a little deep, uh, I was able to get it out uh, on 120 and then get the rest of it out on 220. So literally just keep grinding on these guys. The, the handle material came in that I needed, um, which is... Uh, G10 stuff um, because this is a uh, LSU themed knife uh, this big one not the Bodie knife um, so it'll be purple green and gold um, so that's the plan on that one and I hope to start handle production today um, at least on this one uh, to get the handle on and then I can do other grind lines while that one's curing and get that handle shaped tomorrow uh, which would keep me on track for having them done. Uh, I wanted them done by the end of the week, it just hasn't happened, but the actual deadline is uh, end of next week or week and a half out. Uh, so either way, I'll be able to have, it, have them finished before then, and I'll keep going on them. See you later. Good morning, it is Saturday, May 30th. I got two of the knives fully ground, so they have painter's tape on them now to protect the blades. Um, and I got the handles on. So this is the trim knife for one of the barbecue guys at Revelry. Um, black oak handle, just like his other two knives, and it's now on. Super stoked. And then, oh, and then I also got this beautiful LSU color theme knife. Uh, ground and the handle on yesterday as well um, so absolutely stoked by it by those two I have the boning knife to grind on today uh, we do use a 24-hour epoxy so I can't grind on these until later in the day you can technically start grinding on it at about 12 hours so I'll get the other knife at least ground and polished and then I'll probably start shaping these guys just after lunchtime uh, around 2 3 o'clock um, see if I can get them all the way down to hand sanding because that would be awesome for next week because then I could just come in, hand sand, start the rest of the finishing stuff, and then uh, catch the boning knife up. Uh, so that's the current plan. I uh, hope you all are staying safe and have a great weekend. I'll see you next time.